John is making his friends cookies and bread. Let's help John figure out how to multiply and divide fractions. By now you should know how to convert fractions from other numbers such as decimals and percentage. You should also know how to make convert improper fractions to mixed number or vice versa. The skill of mastering fractions is very crucial in our daily lives, as you have seen in a small clip. Let's start with baking. Baking requires a good skill in fraction. Without knowing how to divide or multiply fractions, it is hard. For example, baking a pan of cookies but the recipe makes two pans. You have to be able to easily divide it, the ingredients. Or maybe you just want to bake more than two pans of cookies. John makes one pan of cookies, which he wants to make more to be able to share with his friends. And so he made three pans. If it says one and a half cups of sugar, that means you should times it by three. And so the equation would be one and a half times three equals to four and a half. Fun. John also wants to make bread. The recipe makes three breads, but John only wants to make one. So he should divide each ingredient for, uh, uh, divide by three. Um. For example, the floor. He, uh, the floor is required six and one-fourth cups. But he wants to only make one bread, so that means he must divide by three. To, in order to do this, we have to uh, make the six one-fourth to an improper fraction. As again, you can see here, times this and plus this. And so you get 25 over four. And you put divided by three over one. It's the same thing as three. But then if you divide, you have to flip these two and you get, and you also put a multiplication sign was that. And so you do it, 25 divided by 12. Go. Adding and subtracting. Let's say that Joey ordered two pizzas for his whole family, both Thank pepperoni. You, one of the pizzas were cut in four pieces, while the other one was cut into six. After they all finished eating, there were leftover pizzas. Three pieces left from one of them and two left. I subtract them. The fraction for one of the pizza is two out of four, and the fraction for the other one would be three out of six. The one pizza used to be one whole or four out of four, while the other pizza used to be one whole or six out of six. Then... It's like this, 4 out of 4 minus 2 out of 4 equals to 2 out of 4, while 6 out of 6 minus 3 out of 6 equals to 3 out of 6. And so, part of Joy's family ate 2 out of 4 of the pizza, and the other part of Joy's family ate 3 out of 6 of the pizza, the other pizza. But how do you add them together? One of the pizza was cut to four pieces, and the other one was cut to six pieces. There was two leftovers and three leftovers. So is an equation like this. Two out of four plus three out of six equals to five out of ten? No. For addition, you can't just add them up like multiplication. You must find the lowest common denominator first. To find it, find the multiples of each of the numbers and see if there is a multiple that are the same. The lowest common denominator for 4 and 6 is 12. So the real equation is 2 out of 4 plus 3 out of 6 equals to 6 out of 12 plus 6 out of 12. And the answer will be 1. So all the pizzas combined would be one whole. But what about calculus?